Hey guys, this is Malingi. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malingi. Today we will talk about generic regulation in eukaryotes. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So, first of all, what is genetic regulation? So, genetic regulation is the process of turning genes on and off. And we need to regulate our gene expression in various stages of our life. In various times of our life. Suppose we have a gene A. That is required when we are in the embryonic stage. So that time this A gene expression should be turned on and when we are adult we don't need this gene at all. So that time the A gene expression should be turned off. Actually most of the genes work in this way that sometimes they need to be on sometimes they need to be off. That's why these genes are required to be regulated in our life. And there are some elements who regulate this gene expression. They are generally called regulatory molecules. Now in eukaryotes only one gene must be under the control of same regulation unlike the prokaryotes because in prokaryotes more than one genes are under the control of one regulatory system. So that is called operon in prokaryotes. So I have already talked about that in my last lecture. If you want, you can check that lecture. Link is provided in the description box. So here we have this uh, DNA and this is the DNA where gene A is under the control of this promoter. So when RNA polymerase and some transcription factors bind this promoter, the gene A, this A gene is expressed. That means this gene is on. Now gene regulation is almost same in prokaryotes and eukaryotes. So in eukaryotic cell, there are three types of regulatory molecules that can affect the expression of genes. Repressor, activator and co-activator. And all of them are proteins and they are actually transcription factors which does not bind promoter but instead uh, they bind somewhere else in the DNA. In general, the activators bind to the enhancer side. This is the enhancer. This is the activator. And this enhancer is in the close proximity of the promoter. So sometimes promoters are unable to strongly bind to RNA polymerase by themselves. Thus, activator proteins help to promote the binding of the RNA polymerase to the promoter. Repressor binds to the silencer region and blocks the attachment of RNA polymerase to the promoter. Thus prevents chain transcription. Therefore, repressors prevent transcription of a gene and are considered to have negative control over the gene expression. Whereas activators increase the transcription of a gene and are considered to have positive control over gene expression. So the silencer is the binding site for the repressor and thus has a function that is equivalent to the operator region in prokaryotic DNA. Instead of inducer that is found in prokaryotes, eukaryotic cell contains a co-activator which binds to the activator to increase the rate of transcription. So co-activators are typically found in eukaryotes because they are more complex and require a more intricate mechanism for gene regulation. So co-activators are only found in eukaryotes but not in prokaryotes. 
in eukaryotes co-repressors are sometimes found along with the repressor the co-repressor prevents dna transcription a co-repressor does not directly bind to dna but instead indirectly regulates gene expression by binding to the repressor basically it enhances the function of the repressor so basically gene regulation in prokaryotes and eukaryotes is almost similar only the difference is that in eukaryotes silencers are used instead of operator and coactivators are used instead of inducers